In this video, we'll learn to count in binary. Uh, before we do that, though, let's first count in decimal, which you already know how to do. So we'll start with 0. And the next number, we add 1, and we get a 1. And the next number, 1 plus 1, would be a 2. And then we go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this is the part I wanted you to see. When we get to 9, something special happens. We've used up all our symbols, 0 through 9. And the next thing we do then to add 1 on to 9, we put down a 0 and carry a 1 to the next column. So we get the number 10, a 1 in the 10's column, a 0 in the 1's column. And it's because of this column weighting that we can get by with just using these 10 symbols. And when we run out of symbols, then we move over to the next column. So we do the same kind of thing in binary. The difference is we only have two symbols. In binary, we have a 0 and a 1. So if we count in binary, we start with 0, and then we have a 1, just like before. But now we've run out of symbols. We want to put a 2 down, but there is no symbol for 2 in binary. And so what we do is the same thing we did when we ran out of symbols in decimal. We put a 0 and carry a 1 to the next column. So we have a 0 there, carry 1 to the next column. Instead of the 10's column, though, this is the 2's column. We have the 1's column, the 2's column, the 4's column, the 8's column. In decimal, we have the 1's column, the 10's column, the 100's column, the 1,000's column. But because we have fewer symbols, just 0 and 1, the column weightings are different. So to keep counting, we, get, we just add 1 to our number 1, 0, and we get 1, 1. And keep counting, uh, so we add 1 to the number 1, 1, and so what do we get? Well, 1 plus 1, here's our rule in addition for adding two binary numbers, 1 plus 1 gives us 0 with a carry. So we write 0 down and carry to the next column, 1 plus the carry, 1 plus 1 would be 0 plus another carry. And so we have a 1 over in the 4's column, the, the 1's column, 2's column, the 4's column. So 1 in the 4's column, that's the same as the number 4. And keep counting, so we have 1, 0, 1. Then add 1 onto this number, 1 plus 1 would give us 0 with a carry. 0 plus 1 gives us a 1, and bring down the 1, so we have this number. What would our next number be in binary? Can you see what it would be? Just 0 plus 1 would be 1. And bring down the 1 and the 1. So this number is equivalent to 7. We have a 1 in the 1's column, a 1 in the 2's column, a 1 in the 4's column. So we have 4 plus 2 plus 1. That's the same as the number 7. Now this next one's tricky. Uh, 1, 1, 1. We want to add 1 to that to get the next count. And so to do that, let's just come over to the side here. We have 1, 1, 1 plus 0, 0, 1. We're just going to add 1 to our number. We'll put some leading zeros in there. And so we have 1 plus 1 gives us 0 with a carry. 1 plus the carry gives us 0 with another carry. 1 plus that carry gives us 0 with a carry. And so we end up with this number. And so this number is the same as the decimal number 8. We have a 1 in the 8's column. That's the 8's column there. And we can continue counting and end up with this binary number equivalent to the decimal number 10.